a jog you icon. You see my phone? It's here. You try to use this? Yes, yeah, sorry, it looks just like mine. Have you changed the pin? Yeah, the uh, operating system crashed, so. Again? That's what, like the fifth time? Yeah, I know, I should really. Uh... You okay? Mm. Come on. Sit down, come on. I'll be fine in a minute. I know I've said this before, but why don't you go and see Jimmy? I don't need a doctor. And besides, he's your friend. I'd feel weird. Can't keep going around this. Ever since your mum died, you've not been right at all. I'm fine. See? What are you up to today? Um, off for a run. And lunch with a mate. Who? You don't know him. Jim this afternoon. No job hunting? Not today. Can't face it. I'd rather look after my health, which is something you should be doing. What? You only moved in last week. It's like you don't want to spend any time with me. If we lived in each other's pockets, we'd end up hating each other before you know it. I'll see you tonight. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Oh, pastries. To what do we owe the calories? Oh, well, I ate it a small piece offering. Well, I realise that since my return, I have been micromanaging you somewhat. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I would. Oh, well, not anymore. There are big changes afoot, and I want to consult you at every step of the way. Oh, what? Dress down Fridays? Uh, oh, a barista for reception. Yeah, these are all fun suggestions. Placebo pills instead of antibiotics. Good morning, Mill Health Centre. We're giving oh. Mrs Tembe suggestions. Um, how about an injector seat for troublesome patients? <laughs> Love it, Q. OK, how about, like, laughter therapy and free hugs? Ah, <laughs> you're still full of the joys of spring. Like, last week, it transformed my life, Oh, the record. Yeah, you're freaking us out now. <laughs> hey, people are amazing, lest we forget, Sydney. Oh, we should do some more fundraising for Hodgkin's lymphoma. What's a serious suggestion? Yeah, and a good one. But I was thinking... No, no, we totally should do that. People's capacity for generosity knows no bounds. For example, I got through the entirety of last week... On 50p and half a wafer biscuit. Yeah, but if you tell the young people of today, then... No, they won't believe you. <laughs> Did you have a good weekend, Dr. Veer? Yeah, it was lovely. Thank you, Mrs. Timley. I'm going to help your campaign, Valerie. I'm very good with people. You certainly are. What about a self-service check-in machine? Genius! That's the best one yet. <laughs> <laughs> then we could all take early retirement. <laughs> nice one, Mrs. Timley. <laughs> What's that? He'd say... Uh, self-service check-in machine. So, I told her again, she has to look after her health. She didn't listen, right? It's typical of her. <sighs> Hi, is it possible to get an appointment with Dr. Clee? Well, there has been a, well, a little resistance to the machine, but I'm sure that everyone will come round eventually. Excellent. Right. Well, if there's nothing oh, else, no, Mrs. Timmy. May I have one other little idea? Now that everything is on the computer, I was wondering what we should do with the, well, this area. It is not an efficient use of this space. OK, neither is a full waiter, Mrs. Tembe, so if you don't mind... I thought that if we got rid of the shelving unit, knock through the wall, then we could create a kind of, well, a, a counter. Well, so that, uh, well, doctors could uh, well sign documents and they could interact with the uh, reception staff. We could get a cup of tea and a bacon butty. No, not... Uh, or not... a portion of chips. Yeah, I think you both misunderstand. It's not that kind of counter. No, I'm really sorry, Mrs. Demi. We're only teasing. So, um, can we afford it? Well, yes. Yes, we can afford it. Uh, it will be no disruption to the uh, surgery. We can do it outside of working hours. Superb. Go to it. It sounds like a great idea. Beep, beep, beep. 
Okay, ground rules. Again? Yeah, because you weren't listening. That the phone stand? Right, I expect you to both get along. I expect you to be polite to Heston at all times and respectful of his house and his standards. I expect you to think about... I didn't about... realise we were moving to a fascist state. Yeah, that's very funny. And you carry on talking to me like that and there's going to be a problem, do you hear? Shakib. <sighs> yeah, whatever. No, not whatever. You knock it off and you be polite. Hello, hello. Welcome to your new home. Um, I've just put the kettle on. Why don't we have a nice cup of tea before we start unloading? And how's school? Fine. Well, good morning. morning. Would you like to use our new self-service check-in machine? Well, it is very simple. Just uh, follow the instructions on the screen. What are we going to do? Sabotage. Oh. Sledgehammer. The patients are loving it. So, how is everything here? Yep, great. Just catching up on some paperwork. Ooh, living the dream. Ah. Both rooms have got new beds, desks, and I'm thinking of getting a couple more TVs. Yeah, there's no need. They watch everything on their laptops anyway. Thank you. So who's is who's then? Entirely up to you. I'm having this one though. You had the big room before. Uh, you snooze, you lose. This one's small though. Too bad. Okay, hey, mum. I had the rubbish room before. That's because of your rubbish. Right, shack out, Alia in. Paul, why do you get to the side? Because you always get your way. No, I don't. Right, both rooms are just as good. Hers is bigger. Remember that one has better Wi-Fi. Oh yeah, I'll take that one then. I can get a Wi-Fi repeater if it helps. Yeah. Right. Cool. Fine. Wonderful. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Yeah. Child's play. Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh. Uh, well, uh, can I help? It says I don't have an appointment, but I rang and... Yeah, well, uh, well look, it is very simple. Uh, let us uh, go back uh, to the start. Uh, right, uh, female. And uh, yeah, then put in your date of birth. You do the okie okay, okay. It uh, does not recognise your appointment. And then not just talk to the receptionist? Absolutely. Yeah, no, no, no. Well, uh, let us try again. Uh, computer says no. Oh, look, forget it. And I'm here to see Dr. Clee, Kate Wilkinson. Oh, Miss Wilkinson, you have just made my day. Karen, who's next? Kate. Jimmy, hi. Are you here to see me? Yep. If that's OK. Yeah, of course, yeah. How's Mike? Oh, he's really well. In fact, it's him who's been badgering me to come and see you. Uh, OK, um, come on through. Oh, right. Right, it is working now, Miss. Too late, I'm afraid. She seems to be more interested in Jimmy. Teething problems, Mrs Tenby. So, you've lost weight. About half a stone. But your diet hasn't changed. Night sweats. I know not menopausal. And dizzy spells. Off and on. I think it's something and nothing. I would prefer to check. Um, could be anxiety, stress. Could be something physical. There's some tests I could recommend. Uh, thyroid function, for one. I'm run down, that's all. Um, the last time I saw Mike, he told me what had happened with your mother and how you'd looked after her through to the end. She was my mum, of course. I looked after her. Our bodies can react strangely sometimes to stress. Everything's caused by something. Uh, maybe you being with your mother as she passed. Honestly, I'm just under the weather. Will you let me buy you lunch as a thank you? Oh, well, you don't have to thank me. It's my job. I really want us to be friends, Jimmy. You mean a lot to Mike, and he means a lot to me, so... We could go to the Icon Bar. You can't make the time. Uh... No, you know, it's a half day. Let's go. And I thought this could be your room for friends and what have you. Is it all about me being in mate's room? Yeah, I mean, it's your responsibility to ensure they behave reasonably, but yes, this is your home now, of course. You must have friends. That's great, thanks. <laughs> what about parties? Oh, don't push your luck. And a very nice sound system. Is it even on? And I thought maybe we could meet like housemates to iron out any um, 
future problems. Does that sound good? Yeah, sure. OK, so, uh, Is there what? any chance I could get a socket nearer to the mirror in my room? Oh, I need to dry my hair. Yeah, I think I've got an extension. <laughs> what? I'm not doing anything? Neither am I. Mm-hmm. So, you and Mike are living together. Tacoma? No. Right. I love him and you know, we're good together. At least I think we are. But you've known him for years. You know what he's like. Yeah. Always a different girlfriend, always checked the lab. But since he met you, he has changed. Maybe. He walked out of his job for no reason. What's that about? Uh, maybe he's rethinking things. Look, he's solid, he's dependable, he's, he's not a midlife crisis kind of guy. And he's moved in with you, Kate, so... I don't know why you're asking me instead of him. You know him really well. I, I just thought you could... Mike. Mike! Chill, yeah. hello, mate. <laughs> well, we were just talking about you. Oh, all good, I hope. <laughs> Surprised to see you here, Dad. Always wanted to try this place, and I took your advice. Went to see Jimmy. Oh, that's great. That's uh, that's great. Are you going to join us? Ah, uh, just for a sec. Yeah, I um only popped into his loo. I thought you were meeting someone for lunch. That's right. Yeah, We're not here though. Thanks. So, what's the diagnosis, Jim? Ah, uh, you know I can't talk about it. I understand. I'm just pleased she's finally seeing someone. Been really worried. I keep telling you. You're fine. Yeah. And women say we may, hey, doctors? Hey? <laughs> Listen, I better go. So soon? I told you I'm meeting someone. A run soon, Jim? Yeah, I'll give you a call. Nice one. I'll see you at home. And, uh, listen to what he tells you, won't you? these days, distracted elsewhere. I think he's seen someone else. I saw him with her this morning, tall, blonde, willowy. What? Uh, no, no, nothing. It clearly isn't nothing. I think he was with her just then. Oh, God. Hey, where are you going? Is RNIB approved? Uh, let me just try this. Oh, there is a, a slight problem. Let me just uh, guide you over to uh, my colleagues on reception. They will help you. Dead. Yeah, well, it is just a few teething problems. Oh, now, gentlemen, you both know about technology. Oh, it's frozen. Maybe we should just call the company or something. Yeah, well, that won't necessitate me waiting in a queue. Do you want us to grab your sandwich or something? Yes, yes, a sandwich would be nice, thank you. Or some humble pie. Well, uh, I'll work with Mike. What do you think? I think we shouldn't be doing this. He's... We have no idea what he's doing. This is weird. It's unethical. It's hardly the behaviour of a mate, is it? Oh, so it's all blokes together, is it? No, that's not what I'm saying. What's unethical is him lying to me and cheating on me. You OK? No, I feel awful. Have you noticed any connection with your symptoms and what you're thinking about Mike? Oh, so it's all in my mind, is it? No, psychosomatic symptoms are a genuine phenomenon. It's just if you're obsessing about this, it's going to be putting your body under a lot of stress. I'm moving. Get down. Well, come on. This is ridiculous. See? I might just be friends. Yeah, right. And the rest. Oh, you're adding two and two in. Making four. OK, come on. Where are you going? What the hell is going on? 
Kate, uh, Jimmy, what, what are you, what are you? How can you do this? Kate. Let me finish. How can you stoop so low as to move in with me one day and then be off with her the next? This is Juliana. I don't care what her name is. She's a complementary health specialist. I met a few months ago when I uh, started getting interested in my health. She's been helping me out. Is that what they call it now? Kate, why don't you slow down and take a breath? He's right, Kate. Mike's been very concerned about your health. And he shared his worries with me. I've been encouraging him to help you change your diets. You're not fooling me with this, you know. I even asked her to give me homeopathic remedies for you, but she's too ethical for that. We met today to come up with a plan to try and get the two of you together. You were holding hands. He was upset. Yeah, right. Kate, I'm very flattered that you'd be jealous over me. But we're really not having an affair. It's not even my type for a start. What is your type? Women. Very good of you to help. No problem. You know, we're not expecting you both to be here every evening. It's a good job. We're not gonna. Shut. And I don't want to hog your mother. If you three want to do something together, that's perfectly fine by me. And maybe we could all watch a film tonight. Well, no, I've only got a few black and white classics, as you know. I'm not exactly on trend. Can you stream one on the TV? Can we do that? Of course. Get with the times. I don't think my TV can do that. You can. I checked earlier. I'll show you if you like. No, no, no. I'll, I'll leave it up to you. Cool. I'm really sorry, darling. It just feels so stupid. You mustn't. It was an easy conclusion to jump to. You shut down the conversation every time I brought up your health. I didn't know what else to do. It's not as if you take good care of yourself, is it? I eat lots of fruit and veg. All organic, I hope. But she does now. If there's one thing I've learned from Juliana, it's the importance of healthy living, a good diet, exercise. You never listened to me about any of that stuff before, but then I guess I'm not so pretty. Never felt so well in my life. Thanks to Juliana and her remedies. You're giving him homeopathic remedies? I don't tell me. You're a GP, so you automatically disapprove. No, I've just never seen any evidence to support any uh, efficacy or any benefits. It's just probably the placebo effect, isn't it? I'm afraid I'm going to have to disagree with you there. I'd expect nothing less. And I'd expect nothing less than ignorance from the medical profession. Well, show me some empirical evidence and then maybe you will get something different. But I mean, you know, what really gets me is when people come to you looking for answers instead of medicine. There's a whole world of knowledge and understanding that falls outside the medical model, Jimmy. Do you even have a medical degree, Juliana? Easy, Jim. Oh, come on, I can't believe you've fallen for this. But you were just telling me that my illness was psychosomatic. Yeah, but that's different. How? If the mind is as powerful a factor in physical health as you say, then what harm can homeopathy do? Exactly, Kate. Not to mention years of evidence. See, there we go again. Well, where is this evidence? Would you treat me? Of course. I'd be delighted. Kate, don't fall for this. Mike's told me a lot about your symptoms and the past year nursing and grieving your mother. You did? I think this will help. Let it dissolve under your tongue. This is ridiculous. Mm. When should I expect? Give it a few hours, but you should feel quite a difference. We should have more to do with the fact that you find that the mic's actually being faithful and nothing to do with your little pill. Jim, let it go now, hey? And uh, I think you owe Juliana an apology. It's just agree to disagree, should we? Going, Mike. I've said I'll drive Juliana home in a little while. No worries, Kate. I can give you a lift home. Thanks, Jimmy. Well, thank you for the remedy. I'm just glad I could help. And I'm sorry about all the subterfuge. It was very nice to meet you. Likewise. Call me if you ever need any homeopathy advice. Yeah, I doubt that'll ever happen. See you at home? Yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> Um, if you still want me. 
Don't be silly, of course I do. Did Mike seem a bit off just then? Off how? I don't know, just distant. Look, he's apologised. It's just... It's fine. I'm so stupid. That's it, of course. I didn't really say sorry. Not properly. <sighs> She's comforting you again, is she? You cheating swine! How can you sit there and lie right to my face? And you said you were gay, you lying cow. I said I like women. I just... Didn't say I like men too. Kate, you don't look well. I think you need to calm down. Don't tell me to. Kate, there's more to this than you think. I'm not an idiot, okay, Mike? So don't. Don't treat me like. Okay, Kate, 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 you've had a shock. You just sit there and just breathe gently. I can't cope with this. I'm sorry you had to find out like this. So you two are having an affair, yes? I wouldn't call it an affair. Oh, what? It's for the good of his health. In a way, yes. A liar. I can't believe I fell for you. Don't say that. Please. I couldn't face it if I lost you. Oh, you have a funny way of showing it. Mike, I think you should tell them. I really don't think this is the time. I wanted it to be calm and... Uh... Tell us what, Mike. Come on, what's worse than this? I've got... malignant melanoma. Late stage. Terminal. It gave me six months. You left your job. You moved in with me. Is that all because? I had to live differently. And Julianne has been helping me and we're spending a lot of time together. And... One thing led to another. We never meant to hurt anybody. Why lie? And why wasn't I the first to know about your illness? I didn't want to upset you. After what happened with your mum. I'm really sorry, Kate. I do love you, you know I do. It's true. In fact, you're all he talks about. It's not me, not himself, you. And it never occurred to you to come and see me that maybe I could help you. Medicine didn't save Kate's mom. With Julianne's help, I'm feeling better. I really believe I can beat this thing. I've heard enough of this. Come on, Kate, I'll take you on. No, I'm staying. He needs me. Well, that wasn't bad. It was great, yeah. Thanks for the film. Oh, my pleasure. I'm off to finish unpacking. OK. <laughs> Well, that went well. There's always tomorrow. Hey, you've been absolutely brilliant today. You were too. You know, I think this might work. I just don't get it. Well, you need to put yourself first for once. I am doing. I love him and he needs me. After what he's done to you? He's dying. Oh, come on, his condition. That doesn't mean he can... Jimmy, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but... I'm staying. That's it. I don't understand. How can you do this? You should share him with another person. You forget. I know what he's got in store. I've been through it with Mum. If these are his last days, then I want to be with him. What about her? If he wants both of us, we'll figure it out. Come on. You're staying. I'm staying. We can work it out together. Absolutely. I uh, 
I owe you both another apology. Yeah, the machine is a disaster. Oh, I wouldn't say that. I would. Well, I think we should go back to the old tried and tested ways. Yeah, remember, Mr. Bellamy had exactly the same problem. Yeah, God rest his soul. Oh, hello, Mrs. Patel. What's Gujarati for good evening? What's Gujarati for self service machine? <laughs> I think, uh, well, teething problems are expected on a machine like this. I think we should stick with it. <laughs> what do you think? Absolutely. Karen? Yeah, fine. Very good. Maybe we're worrying about nothing. No machine could ever replace us, could it? I know your game. You think you can waltz in here and do me out of a job? Well, I'm telling you this. No jumped-up fruit machine is going to elbow me out. I'm good at my job and I'm going to keep it and I will fight you and I will win. Got it? Pip up, Walker. You come in. You're joking me! Call her and get us to go to A&E as soon as possible.